What a fine day in this new world! A single tree. <laughs> That's the problem with these challenges. You kind of have to go a little bit hard. More hard than is safe. <laughs> I guess I should have just built a protect protection and then lured him over, but I, I tried that the other time and I, then I lost the Enderman because it's despawned. Maybe just build up three blocks instead next time. That can also glitch out though, so it's a little bit hard to... Yeah. Come on. Can you do... Hello? You stop standing in my way? Alright, let's get ourselves some stone. Hello? No. Or make a boat. I mean, that's also okay. Stone Age! Are you trying to speedrun the challenge too, um, or just finish? I am mostly interested in finishing it, but it also like it is a speedrun challenge, so I'm not I'm not gonna do like super slow things. I want to complete it in a reasonable time, and uh, don't compare that to people who run it set seed, because that's a completely different challenge. Um, so basically, the current record, as far as I know, on the random seed version is ten hours and something. Alright, so let's make a bunch of stuff. One of those. One of these. One of these. And. One forty-four, my record, by the way. That's the set seed one. I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, you've made a run that I've heard nothing about. <sighs> Die already. Do I not need to crit a chicken, by the way? No, I don't. That's what I thought. How's that over there? No. Just gonna keep uh, an eye out for villages and stuff. This could be very helpful with a chest and with stuff in it. Oh, apple. Good. Pro random seed strat keeps recreating the world until you get that set seed you want. <laughs> Should only take a few hundred years. Yeah, I think you're actually looking at something more like a few hundred million years, but it's a good strategy. <laughs> I mean, obviously you can uh, you can keep recreating the world until you get something that looks decent. But yeah. Ooh, okay. Almost fell into that one. Okay, sheep over. I should have. Should have recorded my spawn. But I'm assuming. Okay, yeah, this tree was over there. We spawned somewhere in this field. So minus. Let's, let me just write that down. Spawn 3, minus 230, 67, 286 or something up there about. We might have to get back here to pick up a bunch of XP after the dragon fight. Oh, 
Like, if there is one thing that is just so annoying in Minecraft, it's how it doesn't prioritize entities. Entities. So I'm hitting the grass over the chicken. That's just not good. And it would be so simple to fix. I have to talk to people about that. Well, it's not that simple. But I mean, it would be worth it. Worth it. Because the, the tall grass thing is just terrible. Come on. Stop running. I'm only going to eat you and make arrows out of you. Alright. So, quickly running out of uh, food here. Saturation. Probably just uh, go on top of this hill, set up a uh, smelt. Or we'll cook the food, I guess. Give me those. Oh yeah, I can make sugar. Which is good, because I'm going to need it. Should also kill a few of these sheep, so we can make a bed. That might be important down the line. Actually, let's grab one of these and eat it first, so... Let's find a jungle and tame some parrots. So efficient. I don't want to end up in the position here where I can't run, because I'm low on food. Like plus happiness from finding a parrot. Two. Three. White bed. Not that, that. All right, uh, there, we got some time. We need warm wood before we go underground. That's basically the prime objective here. And there are preciously few <laughs> trees around, which is a little bit of a problem. Just found the best seed for this challenge. If you find some that I should check out once I get to doing this in Setsi, then throw me a tweet or something. Always good. Like, a lot of the routing for a Minecraft Set Seed challenge is finding the seed. It made sense when you could hide in the grass. Um, the, the tall grass issue. I mean, not even then, really. I understand what you mean, and it made more sense then, but still. It, it feels it feels buggy to me, that's all it, it feels. Alright. An enchanted golden apple in the zombie spawner, first cave I entered. Yeah, I mean, that's nice. But honestly, a lot more things uh, for a fast run of this is going to depend on stuff like where's the, where's the nether fortress and where's a good portal, especially a portal. Like, if you, if you can get away with just, like, a few uh, eyes of ender, that's just so much better. How much? That's 15. It's a little bit low on food, to be honest. I 
Not chapel is common, really. Yeah, well, it's common. It, it's common that it exists in a world. It's just not common to actually find it. So, assuming that you know where it is in a world, it is easy. And that's the nice part, which you obviously do know, if you're <laughs> if you're running a set seed challenge. Uh, we should probably just go down and enter down here, and then dig down. Alright, so let's convert a bunch of these into sticks, convert all of these into torches, because why not, and we're going to put those there, and dig. And not get hit by a zombie on the way down. So yeah, I mean the notch apple. If we if we lucked out and found the notch apple in one of these, it would it would just it would remove hours and hours and hours off of the time from a run, which is kind of a weakness of this, because yeah, I mean it it's essentially any speed run that's so dependent on random, where the RNG can basically tell if you spend 10 hours or th two um, is going to devolve into retrying until you find that one thing. Obviously, grass can stop a blade from hitting entities inside of it. Of course. Super grass. When do I think custom crafting will be added to Java Edition? I have no idea. Oh yay! I can now make like polished andesite or whatever. Come on. 37. We have a long way to go. And we're out of pickaxe. Come on. There. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Tinderbone or someone said 1.13. I don't think any promises have been made. I know he's been looking at it. I, I think all he basically said was it's not coming in 112. I do work on Pocket Edition, yes. It was initially added to 112 snapshots, but then Tenderbone postponed it. Now, it was, it was, like, it's still in there. It's just not in a finished enough state that people can actually use it in a, in a reasonable manner. That's the problem. To make attacks prior to entities instead of grass. I, you're on a too high detail level. Like, the problem is a higher level one than that, I think. We must be getting close. Yeah, we are at level, level 11, actually, so... We're just gonna stick at this level. I was hoping to find something before I hit this level, but whatever. We'll just uh, strip mine. Ooh. Alright, so let's have a little chat while we just uh, grind away here. Uh, what are you guys' favorite thing about this version, about 1.12? I'll give you mine once uh, once I've seen what you guys say. Uh, 
More than one, please? Yes. There we go, that's more like it. Functions? Functions is a good one. Here we go. Can I go to the stronghold quicker this time? Possibly. You need to iron up at least. Don't like the toast notification things. Yeah. That, uh... That's a little bit of a problem. They, they, uh, they're kind of spammy. I agree with that. All right, how many iron did I get? Got nine. Okay. Let's go back here. What? What? Oh, there. That was weird. Lots of functions. Some uh, talk about the quick crafting, advancements. Yeah. I mean, I think if I if I just want to mention like one super simple but also very important thing, a thing that I'm actually really really grateful for is the way that things don't pop out of your your inventory when you stop, like when you. Uh, when you don't craft things anymore. I really like that. Of course, for map making specifically, functions is a huge deal. But... it's it's It won't have that big of a deal, uh, big of an impact on the game specifically, so... I'm not sure that's actually my favorite feature. Like, overall. I like the... Uh, I like the the recipe book more than I like advancements in terms of a survival gameplay kind of thing. Would have been nice to go back up and get some water at this point, but not worth it. I think we'll manage. Also, use a stone pick for the time being, unless we really need it. Colors are nice. I like concrete too. Concrete is very nice. Really useful for like pixel art, pix pixel arty builds, or just builds that you want sort of a futuristic look. It's very nice. Lots of quality of life in the update. Yeah, for sure. Which I really appreciate. I think there's a, a good case for spending some time fixing a lot of quality of life stuff. I'm basically going to be grabbing all the redstone I can find, by the way, because it is ex it's pretty good XP and we will need some redstone for brewing. Like, we're done getting redstone for brewing at this point, because we don't need more than that, but it's good enough XP that it's worth it. I'm also worried about how quickly I died last round, even with all my, with all the armor I had. That was actually enchanted armor. All right, in here maybe. Come on. Not a single piece of iron, even. That's just mean. Alright, let's, I guess... Let's just keep digging here. I think the reason you died was your food was below the threshold for healing. Yes, of course. Like, that's the main problem. And the problem is I couldn't eat because I had a, an Enderman. 
hitting me constantly. So I, I, I needed to sort of get to water to be able to do that. I was trying to navigate so I could get on my horse and rush to water so I could eat. But then he knocked through my shield. But the problem I'm talking about is why did I take so much damage with enchanted armor? Who? Uh, sounds, subtitles. Zombie grounds. Yeah, pretty much this way. I'm on level 11. That is that is correct. Huh? Says Oh, now it's that way. So I'm guessing it's up then. Oh, hello. Don't mind that. Can I No, can't see the source. It's a lot of water. Where's the source even? Okay. Splash. Ooh. Creeper bombs. Oh, this sucks. This is not a good situation at all. Down. Ha. <sighs> Okay, this is going to take some work, but it will be good. I mean, there's iron and stuff in there, but I need to get up one more. All right. Hello. Yeah, I feel. Ah, uh, that's the problem. So you can't get over here. Here we go. That should help you. Really? Okay. Well, let's, uh... Let's do this then. Um, make a bunch of these into planks. Shield, thank you very much. Blow up already! Thank you! Alright, there's at least one more creeper around somewhere. Come on. Think I have chances. Just mine some of this iron here. Some more. There's a creeper. There any any amount of creepers coming in as bombs from up here too. Did I confuse you? I'm sorry. Monster Hunter! And I can make TNT. Except I can't, really. Alright. Couple of pieces of gold. That's good. It's actually really good. Oh, wow. Eight. That's not a bad vein. Alright, let's try to get this stuff again. Preferably without being interrupted by a creeper this time. Oh, that's the music. I thought it was uh, a zombie or something landing behind me. Alright, we now have 12 of those. Which is pretty nice. There's so much unexplored, unlit stuff here. 
Uh, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. It's really nice. I guess I said left my crafting table down in there. Can't be bothered. Put that there. Uh. Okay. Hi. It's the same guy. Same guy, different guy. <laughs> Should we be using a measuring tape to figure out which stream you want to watch? Rough times. I have those as well. <laughs> Definitely do. Alright, so that... One more. Thank you. Oh really? <laughs> I managed to put it in the wrong slot. And bats, of course. There's more gold up there. You, you're truly stupid, but that's fine. As long as you're not in my way. The stream has stopped? I still see it as running. GG's to that bat would seem to indicate that it is indeed running. I only pay pocket edition and would love to have naturally generated ravines like this. Yeah. I mean, we're, uh, we're working on all of those things. Constantly, you just I don't have any ETA or anything, but I agree. It would be really nice to get them in uh, Let's I guess make a helmet. So that's all we can afford And I'm not gonna smelt the gold because I don't really need it All right, so it's a bunch of ravine that way and a bunch of ravine this way more lava this way, too. Kind of would that is that accessible? I kind of would like a a source, water source. This is just ever so slightly dangerous. Also gonna need. Let's do this. I'm gonna need more coal, so why not grab some? I mean, I guess there's a pretty good reason why not to grab some in the middle of a super dangerous ravine, but whatever. Live dangerously. Twitch stream is fine. Yeah, I think all of the streams are fine, actually. I can see all of them moving on my screens. Uh, I don't need that on my bar. Well, okay. Not going to complain about that. They should add a pick tool for survival. So you can look at a block and pull the proper tool. That's an interesting concept, but possibly more suited for a mod. Oh, really? I can't pick that up. Uh, well, we don't need diorite or andesite for anything. And out of that. I guess we're finding enough iron to just switch to iron pickaxes now. Ooh, look at that. Hey, Catalyst. Uh, was, that, was that all of it? Nope. Oh, there might be more. Okay, that's good. 23 of those is going to be enough. Okay. Gold. I think there was a vein up top that we didn't get yet, too. Okay, that should be good. Stump a torch here. There it was. Uh, oh, okay. Apparently we are in uh, extreme health then. 
And I'm kind of not liking that lava, but I'm also kind of liking it. Because it's also kind of keeping us safe. There's no zombies or anything can come through that way, so that's good. I picked them up again, didn't I? I don't need all of this cobblestone either. I mean, I'm just going to pick up more of them anyway, but... Whatever. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll... Oh, there we go. Picked it all back up. I guess we'll keep going this way then. It doesn't look like there's that much ravine over this way, to be honest. But if we get rid of this lava, at least we can explore it properly. Well, and this water, that's perfect. We can maybe get that water source too. If it's not too high up, now that's okay. You can go for this one. Actually kind of looked like there was a an ore up there, but can't be bothered right now. How much with 16 coal? It'll be okay for now. Oh, was there more than one source? Interesting. Away you go then. And darkness. Alright, so now we're back where we came in, and we have all of that direction to look through. Let's make a bunch of torches. Kinda dangerous. What do we have? Ten iron. Let me make some pants. Not with the seeds. <laughs> oh, it is. So incredibly warm in here. While this is melting, I'm gonna try to pour myself a drink and hope I don't die while I'm in here. See ya, Multi. Thanks for joining. Four, so that's seven. Yeah, that's gonna be enough for both boots and pets. So that's good. At least a full set of armor. Alright. Then we should at least be a little bit more safe to explore properly. Slow smelt is slow. I think uh, from this version it's going to be very interesting to see what happens kind of down the line. Like initially people are using the functions to make some small libraries and some interesting stuff. And the people are... oh it's... No, I don't want to use up two stacks for that. Uh, it's fine. We'll not to death. So, basically I want to see what happens in something like two months or something. Maybe even more, maybe six months, when people have started getting used to it and started making like bigger projects with them. Because that's when it gets really interesting. One of you.
auto switch. So is that basically the the mod that we were talking about before? With the tools? Alright. Oh, there's lava down there. So a light there. Oh yeah. What level are we on? 16. So we're pretty decently low still. Nice. Natural barrier. More iron. Oh, intersecting ravines. More iron here. More lava over there. Can't see anything more interesting though, so let's just pick up this iron for now. Take a look down the other way here too. It's not too far, too deep this one. Yeah, no, that's okay. Got a bunch of iron out of it too, at least so. That's good. We should have enough iron to make all of our iron tools and stuff now. Iron uh, axe and sword at least for the most important parts. Let's grab a few more of these. Alright, so the next dangerous thought is do we actually go for the fortress next? Might actually be a good option. Kind of would like a bow. That would be very helpful. Before going into the nether. I mean, it's fine. You can make it, but the hardcore mode and all of that. Where's the rest of this? Here. Be lovely to find a mine shaft at this point. All right, what do we have? Twenty six, and all of these. All right, thirty one. That is pretty good. All right, so let's. Plop this thing down. Put it here, maybe. Smelt up all of this. While I mine some of this stuff. And then maybe just uh, prep to go into the nether. I mean, the best thing to come out of that would be if we can actually get a gas tier and then the potion requirements. Why is the offhand more limited than Pocket Edition? Because uh, the interface to the game has to work with the Pocket screen. Like basically, it has to work work on touch. So you have to figure out how do we, how do you make dual wielding in the generic kind of sense work in? Oh, there's more iron up there. So how do you make that work on a Pocket screen? It's not necessarily an easy thing. Well, not complicating it so that people don't understand it any anymore. Like that's the... Oh, I can't really see it from here, but it should be able to go up here. Why well, need a gas tier? Because uh, that, that re the reason you get from a gas tier is three potions. Like for the challenge specifically, I don't need it. But if we can get that, then we're so much more safe in the overworld and wherever we go after that. And we won't repeat whatever happened last time. That's kind of the point of that. Oh, dang. I was up there. <laughs> Did not think that one through. Do you know anything about the new console edition updates that are coming out? Well, you've seen the trailers, I presume. I do know something about them, but I'm not going to tell you. 19. So we're going to need one. We also actually need one piece of flint. Who's growling? 
skeleton rattles that way. Zombie groans. Okay, this way or this way? I'm guessing into the wall then. But what we'll do is we'll, uh, once we're done smelting this stuff up, we'll go down to the place where we had... Um... Oh, hi! We'll go down here. And pick up the lava and make a portal down there. This is what we'll do. But yeah, like, the... the, the there's a bunch of uh, info on the Better Together update. So you can you can probably go find it. Twenty six. Actually, that's gonna take a while, so we might as well go down and make the portal. Uh, let's go. This will actually open up to up here. Ooh! Interesting. Yeah, we should take... Not today, thank you. Oh, sneaky skeleton! Okay, it's time to make stone weapons. Uh, not use stone weapons, to use iron weapons. Die already. For sure. Get you. Get all of you. But yeah, there's whoever commented about golden apples and stuff before. We should probably smelt up eight of these and make a golden apple before we head to the nether. It's at least a little bit of survivability. Do you know why the Java edition is not included in the better edition, better together update? It's an entirely different code base. All right, let's. This might have finished now. Just about. So we'll move it down, and then we'll smelt these, and then we'll smelt. Eight of these will make a notch, uh, not a notch apple, a golden apple, and we'll have that as an emergency food in another. What do you think is the most satisfying thing in Minecraft? Like, what is the most satisfying thing to do in Minecraft, or what is the most satisfying thing about Minecraft? Because those are different things. I think we're talking about things to do in Minecraft. It's like changes over the time the more you play the game. I've played so much Minecraft that all the kind of normal gameplay stopped being so interesting, which is why I like doing challenges and stuff like this. It's like twist the normal gameplay into something a little bit harder. Ooh, hello. Of course it's just one, but we're lucky there's one hiding around somewhere. Oh god! Die already! You can go into the lava. Down you go. See ya. It's time on this. Can't see it because I have this open. 30 seconds. Or are you just gonna stand there and heal yourself? That's not fair. We're turtling up here for a bit. Oh, 